Seems much more substantial. It looks like a gun. You've been playing StarCraft for over a decade, right? Is that safe to uh, say? Yeah, closer to 20 years. Jeez, wow. That, I keep forgetting that like video games have been around as long as they have. It sounds like a stupid thing to say out loud, but I feel like I remember StarCraft and Warcraft and that era of games being new and like my older cousins playing them and stuff. I still remember reading the PC Gamer magazine uh, that had the alpha shots of StarCraft because, you know, at the time, RTSs were a pretty big deal. For the most part, like Command & Conquer was played quite a bit, Warcraft 2 was a big game. Mm. And then StarCraft was coming out and it was this, that only in space and it, it had everything. It had your bug aliens that were invading the world, very Starship Troopers-esque. Uh, and then it had, you know, the, the humans and it had the Protoss that were like the technological, maybe like Pharaoh-inspired. Mm -hmm kind of uh, as Tekken race, it was really cool. So is there anyone in the competitive StarCraft scene today who has been playing like less than that long? Like people who were started with StarCraft 2? Is there anyone Oh, like absolutely, that? absolutely, yeah. StarCraft, I mean, it's been around since 98, so what's really cool about it is for a lot of people, uh, maybe they did start playing StarCraft 2 II in 2010, and you know, they picked it up when they were 15 or 12 years old. Still mm -hmm. very young, but uh, a new kind of young, right? Like half yeah. my age, basically. Um, but their brothers played or their fathers played. So they actually come from not, not it's not lineage is the wrong word, but like they have a, they have a love for it that, that dates back. It's almost nostalgic for them in a very different way. Whereas for me, uh, like I said, I, I saw the game before it came out and I played it the second it was available to me and I haven't stopped for 16 years now. Wow. So when I talk about my ha my past in StarCraft II, it dates back all the way to the beginning, but for other people it's, it's uh, through other people a lot of times. That's so, yeah. I mean, I, re I remember growing up and uh, my friend's dad playing a lot of Age of Empires and Age of Empires 2 and getting us, like forcing us as 10 year olds to play Age of Empires. And even though those games didn't go on to develop competitive scenes, they're deeply nostalgic for, for me and my yeah. friends, especially the, the music and all that. I'm kind of interested in how uh, it might affect your relationship with a game to, be, to have played it for literally most of your life. Like, do you play games besides StarCraft? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, all the big console releases. Mm. Um, as far as the PC is concerned, I, I, it's it's like a funnel. I generally just end up back at StarCraft Two mm. and then StarCraft. But uh, I was a big fan of XCOM. I've, I've played a lot of games. Yeah, mostly the console ones though to get away from PC. That makes sense. And do they do do you treat them differently or do they feel different to you? Yes. Um, it's. <laughs> I, I call a lot of things my golf at this point in time, so it's starting to probably lose its luster, but uh, StarCraft is my, it's not just my passion, it's obviously my profession, it's the source mm -hmm. of my income, but when I'm when I'm playing or interacting with StarCraft, I'm on, and I'm usually very social. It's a, it's a mostly online, internet-based game, so you're not really having any like, quiet time with right. yourself. Um, so what I do, and, and why I like to get away from the computer, is I like to go play some Call of Duty, I like to go, uh, play Metal Gear Solid. These are not your typical like calm down games, but because I don't play them as much uh, with a mic next to my face and on camera in front of thousands of people, it feels much more detoxing and calming. Sure. So that's yeah. that's kind of my relationship. It's therapeutic. I mean, Metal Gear is a deeply solitary franchise in, yeah. in pretty much every sense of the word. I can see how that would be even in game. You feel yeah. kind of alone. <laughs> exactly. Um, so it's it seems like the kind of perfect uh, antidote almost. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is that is fascinating to me. And do you, do you find yourself playing StarCraft in that way ever? Do you ever play StarCraft off camera or alone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, gaming for a lot of people kind of starts at the, the love for it kind of develops as like an escape. So for me, uh, when I was 12 years old, again, 16 years ago now at this point, around 98 when the game came out, uh, my parents were splitting up and going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. So the game actually had a huge uh, it was like my unknown best friend. I didn't like give it a name and right. <laughs> you know, I didn't call it up and be like, hey, Starcraft, you want to play it? Nothing like that. But uh, when things got tough, that was where I went to be very, to be safe and calm. And that feeling, uh, although nostalgic at this point, has carried on. Like, uh, absolutely, I unplug sometimes and just say, I want to just play some Starcraft. And it's kind of funny because uh, I'm not a pro gamer anymore, but I used to be. I would play 10 hours a day mm -hmm. and then be like, okay, we're done. I'd go spend some time. But at night, it's like some people fire up the TV to watch a movie, other people go for a walk. I wanted to play two or three StarCraft games, not on camera, 
just to calm down. I mean, I think that makes sense. It's, a, yeah. it's, it's crazy with the prevalence of Twitch streaming, and I think the uh, increase in availability of playing games for an audience now, uh, people are starting to realize how different it feels to play games on camera. It's, it's a totally different thing. And it's also interesting to me how games can be therapeutic. Yeah. At certain points in your life, I think that's something that not a lot of people talk about. But um, it, it, there are absolutely times where you, it, it's beneficial to have something else to oh, focus on and think about and invest in. And especially a game, not to get too preachy, but like uh, StarCraft II's RTS. It's real-time strategy, so mm -hmm. it's actually I feel like it's it's helped me in a lot of ways be, develop a very critical and uh, even strategic mind. And it, it's not just helped me in StarCraft land, but also mm -hmm. kind of elsewhere in life. And, while it was therapeutic, it was educational at, at some level as well. Yeah, I think it is probably among the more cerebral esports. Yeah. Nothing against like competitive COD players or anything, but something about the the tactics of, of right. an RTS and the the micromanagement involved just seems like daunting almost to, to someone like me. But yeah, that it, it is a fascinating world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.